now let us talk about the lee shatler's principle he was a noted french chemist who studied the effect of temperature pressure and concentration on the chemical equilibria and uh, he came with the uh, principle which is known as the lee shatler's principle in simple terms if we want to explain it it means that if there is a, if in an equilibrium is subjected to a stress the equilibrium shifts in such a way to reduce that stress so according to this principle uh, if a system at equilibrium is subjected to change in temperature pressure or concentration the equilibrium will shift in the direction that tends to undo the effect of the change or uh, counteract the change now let us uh, explain this one by one first is the effect of temperature so uh, in a reaction if the temperature is uh, increased the equilibrium will shift in the direction uh, uh, which will counteract the, that change that is where the absorption of heat will take place and if the during the reaction if temperature is decreased the equilibrium will shift in the direction in which uh, the evolution of heat is taking place uh, let us explain this with an example um, let us consider example of uh, NUH or QH pellets when they are dissolved in uh, water so during that process heat is evolved so in this case uh, the equilibrium will shift in the direction uh, where the absorption of heat will take place or a well known equation uh, of formation of uh, ammonia by combination of nitrogen and uh, hydrogen uh, the, in this case the forward reaction is exothermic so back reaction should be endothermic so by Lee Shetler's principle the increase of temperature will favor the backward reaction that is the dissociation of ammonia therefore in order to get better yield of ammonia the temperature at equilibrium it should be low but since the reaction rate it varies with the temperature the time taken to reach the equilibrium state it becomes uh, very long if the temperature is uh, kept low uh, therefore uh, temperature close to 500 degrees celsius which is neither too low or too high is maintained in this case next one is the effect of change in the concentration so when the concentration of the reactant is increased equilibrium will shift in the forward direction and when the concentration of the product is increased the equilibrium shift in backward direction to counteract the change now in this case let us consider an example of uh, hydrogen reacting with iodine to give you hydroiodic acid so if the concentration of h2 or i2 is increased uh, the position of equilibrium will shift in the forward direction and vice versa or you can take a very well known example in which uh, ferric ions they are reacting with the hcn and giving you um, uh, fescn which is dark brown in color uh, so let us suppose some ferric salt is added to this equilibrium color of the reaction will darken immediately due to increase in the concentration of the colored complex FeSCN uh, so that is also according to the addition of um, uh, accordance to the Lee Shetler's principle because the uh, addition of uh, ferric ions result in increasing in the concentration of complex ferrisulfocyanide now next is the uh, effect of pressure next one is the effect of pressure that is uh, when we increase the pressure it will shift the equilibrium in the direction where there is uh, lesser number of gaseous atom uh, molecules that is uh, in the forward direction uh, where there is decrease in the volume and decrease in pressure will shift the equilibrium uh, in the direction of larger number of gaseous molecule that is in backward direction where there is uh, uh, increase in volume we can explain this using the example of uh, formation of ammonia uh, now let us consider this reaction uh, as it is evident uh, from this equation so you can see the forward reaction that is uh, accompanied by decrease in the number of moles here you are having four moles here you are having two moles 
so if the pressure is increased the volume will decrease and uh, therefore the number of moles per unit volume will increase so according to the lee chatelier's principle uh, therefore the equilibrium will shift in the direction in which there is decrease in the number of moles uh, that is in the favor of formation of ammonia so um, higher the pressure the greater will be the yield of ammonia so uh, it is on this account that uh, pressure of about uh, 200 atmosphere uh, it is maintained in the formation of ammonia this is the haber's process uh, so it is uh, said to be one of the most economical process for the formation of ammonia next is effect of catalyst Uh, there is no effect on the addition of catalyst on the equilibrium state because uh, uh, the catalyst it increases the rate of forward as well as the backward reaction at the same extent so it simply helps to achieve the equilibrium quickly so it is not having effect on the equilibrium concentration of the reaction mixture next is the addition of effect of addition of inert gases Uh, addition of inert gases at uh, constant volume has no effect on equilibrium and at constant pressure uh, it will shift in the direction where there is increase in the number of moles of gases so this is how uh, various uh, effect on the equilibrium chemical equilibrium uh, is uh, studied using different reactions so lee chatelier's uh, he noticed that uh, mainly what is the effect of temperature pressure concentration on the equilibrium so based on that effect uh, economically when you have to produce uh, you have to take this effects into consideration let us do few applications of lee chatelier's principle it can be applied to phys uh, physical equilibriums uh, like in liquid vapor equilibrium Uh, as you know that in liquid the volume will be less whereas when it is vaporized the volume will increase so uh, as the liquid changes into uh, vapors it will be accompanied by increase in volume so according to lee chatelier's principle increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium towards the right that is uh, more of the liquid it will evaporate and that will absorb the heat supplied so uh, further if you increase the pressure the equilibrium will uh, shift in the direction so as to lower the pressure so increase in uh, pressure will favor the condensation of water vapor into the liquid water similarly you can see the effect of pressure on the boiling point of liquid uh, that is uh, the vaporization of uh, liquid is accompanied by increase in pressure so if you increase the pressure the equilibrium will shift towards the condensation of vapor into liquid so vapor pressure will decrease higher higher temperature is thus needed to make the liquid boil then you can find out the effect of pressure on the freezing point of liquid uh, since um, ice and water if you compare ice is having more volume as compared to water so when a solid melt there will be a change in the volume so increase uh, of pressure on ice water equilibrium will cause the equilibrium to shift towards right and uh, as the process is uh, endothermic uh, increase of temperature will shift the equilibrium to right hand side thus more ice will melt Uh, further you can uh, apply lee chatelier's principle in to study the effect of temperature on the solubility uh, like uh, during the uh, dissolution process if heat is evolved the solubility decreases with increase in temperature as in the case of nuh etc Uh, then you can apply it uh, to study the effect of pressure on the solubility of the gases in liquid as in case of uh, co2 gas and co2 aqueous so if you increase the pressure of co2 gas equilibrium will shift in the direction that causes decrease in the pressure of co2
then in Haber's process as you, you have seen in the manufacturing of ammonia by nitrogen and hydrogen the Shetler's principle is applied similarly you can apply it to the manufacture of lime